In algebra, a monic polynomial is a univariate polynomial in which the leading coefficient is equal to 1. Therefore, a monic polynomial has the form univariate polynomials. If a polynomial has only one indeterminate, then the terms are usually written in either from highest degree to lowest degree or from lowest degree to highest degree. A univariate polynomial in x of degree n then takes the general form displayed above, where cn0, cn-1, c2, c1 and c0 are constants. The coefficients of the polynomial. Here the term cnxn is called the leading term, and its coefficient cn the leading coefficient. If the leading coefficient is 1, the univariate polynomial is called monoc. Examples Complex quadratic polynomials. Properties multiplicatively closed. The set of all monoc polynomials ring A and for a given variable x is closed under multiplication. Since the product of the leading terms of two monoc polynomials is the leading term of their product, thus the monoc polynomials form a multiplicative semi-group of the polynomial ring A x. Actually, since the constant polynomial 1 is monoc, this semi-group is even immanoid. Partially ordered the restriction of the divisibility relation to the set of all monic monomials is a partial order, and thus makes this set to oppose it. The reason is that if P divides Q and Q divides P for two monic monomials P and Q, then P and Q must be equal. The corresponding property is not true for polynomials in general. If the ring contains other invertible elements than one polynomial equation solutions in other respects, the properties of monic polynomials and of their corresponding monic polynomial equations depend crucially on the coefficient ring A. If A is a field, then every non-zero polynomial P has exactly one associated monic polynomial Q, actually. Q is P divided with its leading coefficient. In this manner, then, any non-trivial polynomial equation P equals zero may be replaced by an equivalent monic equation Q equals zero. E.g., the general real second degree equation may be replaced by by putting P equals B, A and Q equals C, A. Thus, the equation is equivalent to the monic equation. The general quadratic solution formula is then the slightly more simplified form of integrality. On the other hand, if the coefficient ring is not a field, there are more essential differences. E.g., a monic polynomial equation with integer coefficients cannot have other rational solutions than integer solutions. Thus, the equation possibly might have some rational root, which is not an integer, while the equations and only may have integer solutions or rational solutions. The roots of monic polynomial with integer coefficients are called algebraic integers. The solutions to monic polynomial equations over an integral domain are important in the theory of integral extensions and integrally closed domains, and hence for algebraic number theory. In general, assume that A is an integral domain, and also a subring of the integral domain B. Consider the subset C of B, consisting of those B elements, which satisfy monic polynomial equations over A. The set C contains A, since any A A satisfies the equation x minus or equals zero. Moreover, it is possible to prove that C is closed under addition and multiplication. Thus, C is a subring of B. The ring C is called the integral closure of A in B, or just the integral closure of A. If B is the fraction field of A, and the elements of C are said to be integral over A, if here and then C is the ring of algebraic integers. Multivariate polynomials Ordinarily, the term monarch is not employed for polynomials of several variables. However, a polynomial in several variables may be regarded as a polynomial in only the last variable, but with coefficients being polynomials in the others. This may be done in several ways, depending on which one of the variables is chosen as the last one. E.g., the real polynomial is monic, considered as an element in R, Y, X, i.e., as a univariate polynomial in the variable X. 
with coefficients which themselves are univariate polynomials in y, but p is not monic as an element in R, x, y. Since then the highest degree coefficient is 2x minus 1. There is an alternative convention, which may be useful e.g. in Grobner basis contexts. A polynomial is called monic, if its leading coefficient is 1. In other words, assume that p equals p is a non-zero polynomial in n variables, and that there is a given monomial order on the set of all monomials in these variables, i.e., a total order of the free commutative monoid generated by x1, xn, with the unit as lowest element, and respecting multiplication. In that case, this order defines the highest non-vanishing term in P, and P may be called monic, if that term has coefficient 1. Monic multivariate polynomials, according to either definition, share some properties with the ordinary monic polynomials. Notably, the product of monic polynomials again is monic.